Anti-Israel protesting, and it has gotten more intense in New York City. Demonstrators are burning American flags. This was last night outside City Hall after marching from Wall Street. They accuse President Biden of genocide for supporting Israel. And we keep seeing scenes like this one on the streets of major cities in America. Tensions also rising on college campuses, you know that. In New Orleans, two people were arrested after a rally near Tulane University turned violent. More arrests are expected to come because there are cameras everywhere. A rabbi who is a scholar visiting at Harvard said this. Harvard has an anti-Semitism problem. It's not alone. It shares it with my alma mater, the University of Pennsylvania with GW, with Columbia, with a lot of universities in different ways. I don't think we should be abandoning the universities. A lot of good comes out of them, but I and a lot of other people of goodwill are fighting against this. And I hope that we can make progress because the problem is real and it is not small. Did you notice the list that he just gave? Those are some of the most elite colleges in America. Harvard, UPenn, GW, Columbia. Uh, David Wolp was his name. Let's welcome Rabbi Mir Hecht, rabbi to the freed American hostages, Judith and Natalie Ramon, Renan. Let's talk about first these very disturbing protests that we're seeing around the country. Rabbi, I welcome you to the Faulkner Focus. Your reaction to the anti-Semitism that I, it's always been there, but now it's on full display. Paris, I just saw those videos that you guys put up on the screen moments ago. What we're seeing on college campuses and on the streets of America is deeply, deeply disturbing. But let me first share the positive side. The good news is that we see so many moral and upstanding kids on college campuses who are standing strong they know right from wrong they know good from evil and they are brave in standing in front of america to tell the world the truth uh, to them i say be strong be proud shine your light you know a little light even in very dark mm -hmm. spaces illuminates very widely and dispels much darkness this now to the negative side you know what the, I... the moral go sorry ahead. go ahead sorry yeah, okay, so, you know, the moral depravity of these professors and enablers who are inciting America's youth with vile hatred and anti-Semitic blood libels, it's deplorable, Re reminiscent of 1930s Nazi Germany, the youth demonstration, demonstrations that was the precursor to the Holocaust. You know, this is, yeah. Paris, this is frankly not a war against the Jews. This is a war against morality, against civilization. These professors, these students, the university leaders who are enabling and inciting this, they will have their day of reckoning. Were you on the side of good or were you on the side of evil? In every generation, anti-Semitism somehow seems to rear its ugly head again and again in a different form with a different idea, each time with another excuse to try and obliterate the Jew. But, you know, we've been through this. It's thousands of years. We've, it happens every generation. And we're still here to tell the tale. The Jewish people are standing strong and proud, and we will continue. Good will prevail over evil. Light will overpower the viciousness mm -hmm. and the hate and evil. The Jewish people will continue to thrive and flourish because the, the light of God will ultimately continue to shine. And it's at the center of our worldview the truth and everlasting divine morality. So, so to Rabbi, the viewers, to everyone, you just have to ask the question, which side of the fence do you want to be on? Do you yeah. want to be on the side of good or do you want to be on the side of evil? All right. Rabbi, I, I will talk with you another time about those hostages that you know who were rescued. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.